Today we have a massive day ahead of us. We are currently here in Ho Chi Minh City, but our destination for today is roughly about a two and a half hour journey outside of the city centre, and we are trying to get there using solely public transport. So this could be pretty interesting because we have no idea what the public transport is like here in Vietnam. So I'm looking forward to it, and we just don't know how it's gonna go. But for now, we are really, really hungry. It is time for breakfast, so let's go get ourselves the best Vietnamese breakfast that we can find. Wasn't too hard. We found breakfast already. So for breakfast today, we have picked ourselves up a couple of banh mi's, which is a Vietnamese sandwich, a few spring rolls, and also these, which I've never had before. They look like a big, like crap kind of rough thing with banana dried into them. They look pretty good. We thought they'd be a good snack for our long bus journey. So now that we've got a bit of food, we're going to go try to find our first public bus of the day. So I don't know how this is going to go. Is that the is that the right station there? Yeah. Hi, mum. We're warm here. Right. And well. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So good. We're on. We're paid. This is the first bus we have. Three buses, I think, today to get to get to our destination. Bus pretty nice. It's actually a lot better than what I thought. The man just came over and just took the money out of her hand. It actually cost us seven. 7,000 each, which is for nothing. So I'm really happy the day is off to a good start. So let's hope the rest of the day follows it from here. It's a bit bumpy though. <laughs> not what we thought. The day is not off to a good start. So basically, we thought it was, but it isn't. We thought we were in the right bus, and then the man took our money, gave us our tickets, walked away, and literally came back 30 seconds later. And then he told somebody else communicated with us that we needed to get off the bus and go to the other side of the street to get the bus that we need. So the man basically took our money, knew exactly what was going on, and then told us to get off. So we're back in the street again. Now we have to go look for the right bus, which we think is hopefully gonna be over here somewhere. So we go again. Okay, we go now. Yeah, yeah, run. Three, two, one, go, go, go. Ah, oh, it's so crazy. We're pretty sure we're at the right location this time. We're at the other side of the road. We're at a bus stop. We can see your bus number on the sign. Things might be looking up, so we're going to wait it out here. Probably have our banh mi sandwiches and just see, hopefully, would the bus show up. Thought that was it. It's not. But today's goal, basically, is, make it, is to make it to the Chu Chi tunnels, which were underground tunnels that were built and used during the Vietnamese War that we don't really know a huge fight about at the moment, but we're hoping to learn loads about today. But yeah, it's going to be a mission to get there, pretty much. So we're just going to wait in this bus. We have then two more buses to get, and I don't know how this day is going to pan out. Yeah. That's seven total. Excellent. Well, we have two tickets. We're here. I never got time to finish my sandwich. <laughs> so we think this first bus is roughly about 30 minutes long, and then we change over to another bus which lasts roughly about an hour and a half, we think. And then our final and third bus is like 40 minutes maybe, in around that, so I don't know, let's wait and see. Thank you. So things are looking up, we are on to our second bus and it's pretty nice, pretty clean. And we're on this for the next hour until we get to another bus station and then we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> so now that we're actually on the right bus, we're here for an hour, so we'll try my banana wrap crap looking thing. I think it's made with like some sort of rice. It's pretty dry, pretty tasty looking though, so. Oh, that's disappointing. Sad very, man. Very disappointing. Yeah. I'll pay for it, so I'm gonna still eat it, but like, disappointing. It's not good. No. Hello. 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 So we are just off that bus and it flew. There wasn't as many stops as what we were thinking. And it's left us off at a station and we can already see our next bus. So this is going really, really well. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> and I 
I think we're here. <laughs> We've just been dropped on the side of the road and she pointed this way, so. I think we're here. Yeah, I here. think we're here. <laughs> So the public transport and the buses here seem to actually be pretty good. To be honest, they're way better than we expected. They're pretty clean, pretty on time, and they're pretty smooth ride as well, apart from a few bumps in the road. But the main reason we decided to get the public transport here is because it was by far the cheapest option. Most people come to the tunnels here on like a guided group package deal. They lift you in Ho Chi Minh City and drive you here, drop you off, and then take you back again. But we've saved roughly about 400K or 450K overall by coming here, getting the public transport, and paying entrance in our Yourself. So we are absolutely buzzing with this evening. So let's go check out the tunnels now. Okay, so we just got our entrance tickets. We are definitely in the right place, which is good. And the girl we got the tickets off at the wee entrance point confirmed that we do get a guide as well to take us around the tunnels and just show us around the whole place and kind of explain a lot more to us. So we're really looking forward to finding out more about the tunnels, more about the war, and just having a really kind of informative and educational day overall. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. You go try your head this yeah, way. We're in, we found the tunnels, and I think we're going now to hopefully meet a guide. So once we were walking through the forest here, we came across like a wee movie theatre type of place that we were directed to, to watch a short film. We were hoping we were going to find out loads of information and get a bit educated on the tunnels and the war. To be honest, we didn't really learn much and then we were kind of quickly shoved on to the next location, which we think is the tunnels here. Um, yeah, we don't really know much. They haven't really told us anything. They're just like, come. So, I don't know if we're going down. Oh, that's how they carried the water? Yeah, same, same hammer. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, Keep her moving. Yeah. These tunnels were originally built under the jungle during the Indochina War against the French, but were later expanded during the Vietnamese-American War to house troops, move supplies, shelter from air attacks, and also to set up surprise attacks against their enemies. So that was pretty cool. So that was actually just a well to see where the, they were getting their water when they were living in the tunnels. So it was a short wee one. First experience in the tunnel though, they're quite narrow, quite small, quite claustrophobic, exactly what I kind of thought they were going to be. But I think we're going over here to check out something else. Oh wow, shouldn't that, oh so there's like a gap yeah, here. Probably. Oh yeah. So they would aim through here. So they would be like down underneath and aiming at the there. Oh wow, this is pretty crazy. So he's just showed us, our guide has showed us a fighting bunker, which is basically this big like lump in the ground. And when you look underneath it, there's a few wee like literally slits, like tiny wee slits, where they shoot out of. Crazy, let's go. Uh, in the world time, the head can turn out very small. Vietnam may body, the ones are easy. American this side gets stuck. Oh wow. Original. Oh wow. You want to try? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so small. I could try. First. Yeah, I try, I try. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I'd fit. <laughs> It's too small. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that is crazy tight there. Oh my god. That's nuts. It's Tight's so crazy squeeze. how the camouflage they can go, isn't it? Yeah, step down into this. And then wiggle. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so we just went through one of the original entrances to get into the tunnels and it was so so tight, so small. I had to like wiggle to get into it, but it was such a cool experience. We're already on to the next thing. There's so much to see. <laughs> You would not want to fall into that booby trap, that is savage. These are all like bamboo spikes that have been carved and stuck into the ground. And the idea is if you're running along, you wouldn't see this camouflage in the grass. Somebody would stand in that, 
fall down, that would flip over, and you would basically get stabbed to death. Ooh. That is crazy. Madness. Crazy. But we need to yeah, move. Yeah, we lost our grip already. They're moving so fast, it's insane. Oh, the hospital. Oh, wow. So it's like a full underground hospital yes. bunker. Okay. Oh, yes, okay, okay. So this one is a full underground hospital bunker. Crazy, they had a full like, like village nearly going on underground in the bunkers here. They had hospitals, they had like rooms. I read somewhere that there was like a theater for entertainment because people used to live in these bunkers for like long periods of time. And there was thousands and thousands of people living in here as well. So it's just so crazy to see. Oh, wow. It is so warm in there. And we have lost our group. The tunnels we visited have actually been widened and made bigger for tourism purposes, but the original tunnels are roughly about a third of the size. This is where troops would live for long extended periods of time, and during our tour we got to try the main food that the troops lived on during the war, which is a vegetable called cassava. That's not the worst. I wouldn't want to live on. Mm. I think our tour just left. Very good. I'm assuming they walk from the kitchen into the bunker. So why are we cooking here? After trying the cassava, we visited the kitchen where the food was prepared and the dining area where the troops would gather for their meals. From here, we stopped off to see where some of the clothing and footwear was made during the wartime. Madness, a full sandal just made out of tires and... I think you'd rock them. Yeah, they, they're quite stylish. <laughs> Do you think I could get a pair? I'll ask on the way out. <laughs> I just find their shop and they have my size. <laughs> Pair of sandals for Ashley. Hey. <laughs> They're so cool. Well, Cinderella does the slipper fit. Not this one. Not that one. Next size. <laughs> <laughs> and to finish off the tour, we briefly pass through a workshop area to see how some of the weapons and booby traps were made. Ah, okay, so <laughs> that is us finished up. The tour pretty much ended like very... Abruptly, it just came to a stop. Yeah, it yeah. just basically came to a stop. Our guide came over and was like, okay, exit out this way. And we were like, right, okay, that's it, done and dusted. I would say it lasted like... 30 minutes? Yeah, you definitely don't need much time if you're coming to do it yourself. No, and we don't know if we've got very unlucky and unfortunate or if this is the situation here, but our tour guide spoke very little English, so whenever we were trying to ask him questions, he just couldn't answer them and just or couldn't understand them even, which was very unfortunate because we were really hoping to come here and get some clarity kind of on the war and the tunnels and a better understanding, which we just didn't get. From coming to Vietnam, we've watched yeah. like a lot of documentaries, trying to learn more ourselves, yeah. and we were really hoping that today was just gonna like give us a little bit of extra information and Didn't. yeah <laughs> I think we're leaving with more questions than we came with to be honest so yeah I don't know if that was just because of our tour guide and our situation we were also with a group of men who didn't want to go into the tunnels themselves so they just walked on and kind of sailed on through the whole thing and the whole thing moved such like at such a fast I pace I was running after the man and then yeah. it was like can you repeat like what is this yeah yeah so unfortunately the tour itself just wasn't what we wanted it to be but when we did come out we went to check out some of the old machinery, the tanks, the aircrafts that have been left behind from the war and they were pretty insane and when we were in the war museum yesterday we seen some of this also but they were all like refamped and painted and cleaned yeah, up really for well yeah. maintained. whereas these ones were really rustic. Yeah full of bullet holes completely destroyed they'd clearly been like blown up or something at a stage and it was very interesting for us to see them compared to the ones yesterday but we are going to leave this video here because we have a big journey to get back to the city again it's going to take us Couple maybe hours. two and a half hours or so yeah. Yeah, so we're going to use the public transport to get back so hopefully it'll all go smooth but we think it's going to be okay so we're going to leave this here we really hope you enjoyed this one and hopefully you'll join us again for another adventure here in vietnam see, see you later lads <laughs>